In today's video we're going to be talking about the shoulder joint. So it's known as a diarthrosis joint or a synovial ball and socket joint, which basically means that it allows for free movement. In fact, the shoulder joint is one of the most mobile joints in the whole body and it involves the articulation of the head of the humerus and the glenoid cavity of the scapula. Now, the glenoid cavity of the scapula is quite shallow so it's made deeper with something known as a glenoid labrum which is basically like a ring of fibrous tissue and this surrounds the glenoid cavity so what this does is when the head of the humerus attaches it basically gives about 45 millimeters of space. So the components of the shoulder joint consist of the joint capsule and bursae. So the joint capsule is very loose and the long head of the biceps brachy muscle will pass through the joint capsule. And uh, the bursae are small fluid filled sacs which are located around the capsule and their purpose is to improve mobility and prevent friction. So there's five different types of bursae within the shoulder joint. There's the subacromial subdeltoid bursa, which is between the joint capsule and the deltoid muscle. We have the subacromial bursa, which is between the joint capsule and the acromion. The subcoracoid bursa, which is between the joint capsule and the coracoid process. The coracobrachial bursa, which is between the subscapularis muscle and the tendon of coracobrachialis muscle. And the subscapular bursa, which is between the joint capsule and the tendon of subscapularis muscle.